Hi, everybody. I just wanted to give you a quick update on some of the things we're working on here in the legislature, but the number one priority is to thank Maddie Peterson for my amazing bracelet that she made me. It says Governor Nome on it, and her dad, Kent Peterson, who's the majority leader in the House, brought it to me last night. So I love it, and uh, thank you, Maddie. It's very special to have this bracelet, and I'll be wearing it proudly, so very thoughtful of you. I wanted to give a quick update on housing because it's a big topic of conversation. We're getting a lot of questions about it. I know the legislature did a summer study on housing this summer and agreed that it needed to be addressed in the state, and the state typically does not um, facilitate housing. What we'd like to do is focus on infrastructure and partnering with communities and developers to address the needs that communities of all sizes have. So the, what we proposed and what I talked about in my budget address and my State of the State address was a program that gave grants that matched community dollars, matched development dollars to put in curb and gutters and sewer systems and develop lots so that a community could develop housing if they wanted to for career housing. For those families that want to move into towns of 500 people or up to 50,000 people, that every community has needs right now because of the growth that we're seeing. Uh, we've been listening and working with legislators. I've had dozens of meetings. The legislatures, legislators have a strong desire uh, to use some of the grant money for loans instead. And so we've been working with them. There'll be tomorrow morning a committee hearing that has that agreement uh, that I've worked on with Roger Chase and with Casey Crabtree and Lee Schoenbeck to have some grants like I originally proposed, but also the loan program that they're proposing, and that'll be debated in the morning. So I'd encourage everybody to tune in. I think there's a lot of agreement that we need to meet some of the needs for infrastructure in our communities, that career housing is important for communities of all sizes, and we want every community to have an opportunity to benefit from this. And uh, we're gonna continue listening to the legislature on what that program looks like. So. Uh, I do appreciate Roger Chase and Casey Crabtree and Lee Schoenbeck for spending so much time working on this issue. Um, and we've spent a lot of time listening to legislators on, on this that's going to be debated and what that looks like in the future. So have a wonderful day. Happy Monday. We'll see you tomorrow.